Hi everyone, I'm Brittany Miller with your 8 o'clock coronavirus update. Confirmed coronavirus cases around the state are now nearing 18,000. That's out of more than 74,000 people who have been tested at this point. The Georgia Department of Public Health putting out those numbers in just the last hour. And sadly, 677 people have died from COVID-19 in our state. We're also learning about a third of those deaths happened in nursing homes. Records from the Georgia Department of Community Health show approximately 250 people have died in the state's long-term care facilities. Pruitt Health Palmyra in Albany has had 16 deaths, followed by 15 deaths at Arbor Terrace at Cascade in Atlanta, and 13 deaths at Dawson Health and Rehabilitation in Dawson. Tonight, we're learning about why coronavirus testing in the United States was delayed several weeks. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration says there was a problem with the way the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention initially made the test. An FDA spokesperson said the Atlanta-based CDC made them in one of its laboratories instead of its manufacturing facilities. This is video you see here of the lab from when President Trump visited back in February. Well, making the test in a lab violates CDC protocol and resulted in the test being contaminated and therefore delayed. Your next live update is on CBS 46 News at 9 on Peachtree TV. We'll see you there. I'm Brittany Miller.